Hey guys, what's up? Plasma Snake 13 here again for another episode of Minecrafting Win. Today we're going to be talking about water and uh, using water and lava, uh, kind of the basic mechanics of it. Maybe uh, we'll delve a little bit into how we're going to be using it, but for the most part, uh, we're just going to be talking about uh, how liquids work in this game and uh, giving you guys some tips. So let's get started here with a little chart. You'll see on the screen right now, I've got a little chart. We got water, we got lava. So let me just describe, first of all, let me just say um, water and lava are basically the same thing. Now, water obviously doesn't kill you, whereas lava will set you on fire and eventually kill you. Uh, so that's uh, definitely probably the most important thing to note is that don't stand in lava. But you can use lava for aesthetic reasons as well as water. You know, it's a cool thing to have. Lava is a little bit slower moving. It's a little bit thicker as, you know, it's kind of realistic. So, let me talk to you about liquids, and I'm going to use water as the example. Water, when you uh, pick it up, you'll see me here, when you pick it up, um, you can only pick it up from still water. There's something called still water or source water. Now this is where water comes out of, and uh, these blocks, these specific little blocks that you can't really get, um, they just kind of, you know, spew out water in all directions. Uh, you, can, you can see uh, waterfalls like this one, for example, and... Uh, you'll notice that it only has one source block at the top and it's spewing out water. If you were to remove that source block, like here, you'll notice the water will actually, you know, just disappear completely because they put, there's only one source block. Now, for lakes and oceans, you'll notice that there's tons of this water that doesn't seem to be moving. Uh, uh, moving water you cannot grab with a bucket, but still water, like you can see here, is not moving and you can pick it up with the bucket. So this is the stuff that you want to be using for aesthetic reasons, because this is the only water that you can pick up. And so you can place it down anywhere, it'll spew water in all directions. Now, to make a bucket, let's just go over this quickly. To make a bucket, you want to grab iron, and you want to smelt that down like anything else. You want to put it in a V formation, you'll see the recipe right here on the screen. You want to use that formation to smelt down the iron bucket. And then you'll want to uh, basically take the iron bucket, equip it, and basically just right-click on the source water, or still water, and you'll pick it up, and uh, it'll empty the space out. And water will generally fill back in if there's more of them, but if it's the only water, it will take away the entire water. But how do we solve that? Obviously, I don't want to go down to the lake for every single source block that I want to use. So what we're going to do here is we're going to just teach you how to make your own uh, infinite water spring. So let's get started. So now we're back in the game, uh, and I'm going to demonstrate some of the uh, water properties of how you're going to make your own. Uh, the two things that you're wanna, going to want to need is uh, two buckets. Uh, you can use one bucket, but you'll have to go back and forth between the source twice. So basically, to make an infinite water supply, it's going to be really, really easy. You need a 2x2 two two grid, 2x2x1, uh, two two I guess, because it's only one deep. Just a simple four square thing like this, and you want to do this specifically. You want to place a water block there, it'll fill up as shown and you want to place one in the opposite corner. And what that does is, it basically, if there's two uh, source blocks around a moving water, it'll turn itself into a source block. And now, as you can see, uh, I can pick up this one, and uh, it's filling it up constantly, so I can, you know, create this suddenly, and there's still tons of stuff here. I can take infinite water and uh, use it. And so, you can use this uh, to create an infinite water spring, and it's really that simple. Um, now, lava, if you want to create an uh, infinite lava spring, it's a little bit more difficult. As you can see here, it's a little bit hard to see, but in this corner that I'm pointing at right now, and this one, those are two source blocks right there. Unfortunately, the same technique doesn't really work, so what you're going to want to do is you want to take four buckets there, and you want to just fill it in like this. And um, unfortunately, it doesn't really work quite as well as uh, most of the time it won't create a source block. Um, occasionally, it will, in fact, create a source block in that corner, but from my experience, it doesn't. So, if you're going to create with lava, it's going to be a little bit more difficult. In fact, it's going to be a lot more difficult due to the fact that you can't really make infinite, and uh, also, you know, you're going to have to go underground for most of them. So, um, that's, an, that's unfortunate, but uh, I would definitely recommend building more with water, especially because this infinite... Uh, <laughs> this infinite uh, kind of... I'm, I'm not sure if it's a cheat or it's just a... Uh, I'd say it's more of a game tutorial itself. And so that's basically it for water and lava. Uh, there's just want to go over the few differences again. So again, lava can kill you. That's that's a big one. Uh, you cannot make an infinite spring of lava, so that doesn't really work. So let's just cover that over. 
Yeah, you didn't know you could make obsidian? There we go. Um, yeah, so lava lava kills you, it moves a little bit slower, it can't be made infinite. So I would definitely not recommend using lava unless you were... Uh, I'm not sure if any, everybody's uh, heard of this, but there, there was a guy who made a mountain. And it was like a cliff face. And it was a gigantic skull, and there was uh, uh, two uh, streams of lava, like red flowing tears coming out of it. And it was a pretty amazing map in general. And... Uh, yeah, it was a really funny map that he used, and so that's how you can kind of use lava. But for the most part, uh, I would suggest using water. If you guys have any more questions about buckets, water, lava, uh, or any other things about Minecraft, be sure to leave it in the comments below. And uh, I think that's it for now. I'll see you guys later.